Hi, I'm Barry Briggs, four-time world champion. I'm here at Wembley today to get ready for probably the biggest challenge of my life. I'm riding my motorcycle for the length and the breadth of England. I'm starting in Scotland and going down to Dorset and then across to Cardiff. And it's all to raise funds for the sports relief. And my special baby is the whole thing. The Speedway boys, the ex-Speedway riders that are now in wheelchairs. Helping me to prepare for this marathon task here today is my old friend Gary Lewin the England's chief physio, to make sure that I'm up to the task of getting through this marathon. Brigo's 75 years old now and uh, the challenge he's taken on is immense. Um, for all the years he's been in Speedway and um, what he's put his body through over the years, uh, for him to be doing this is incredible, but uh, I'm confident he's going to make it. The advice I've given him today really was what to do while he's on, on the event, um, and that's getting off the bike, uh, recovering from each ride, getting ready for the next ride, uh, that includes a series of exercises for his back, his hips, his knees, some stretching exercises for the muscles, um, the right foods to eat, when to eat, uh, giving some advice on the right foods to, to have. Spoken about the events along the way and where he's going to be in the country and if he has problems on the way where we can help him. I won two of my world's champions here at the old Empire Stadium, this is the, obviously the new one, and I've been here 13 times in world's championships. 13th wasn't lucky. I lost part of my hand, but really that was nothing to the luck of the lads that's in, I'm trying to help now with the, the, in wheelchairs for the rest of their lives. Being in a wheelchair has got to be the end of the world. My Tony broke his neck when he's, when he's racing at 18 years old and he had four months of just moving his eyeballs. And we know what the humiliation and what you've got to go through. These, these boys need help. And this is my big chance to help these lads. I'm going to start a tour starting in March and going through to July, hitting as many tracks in Scotland and all through England. And we're going to finish on the British Grand Prix at Cardiff on the 10th of July. And then we'll take the final collection there and hopefully I'm going to have a big check for each of these 12 boys in wheelchairs. There was never a shortage of courage and determination from Brigo on the track, and nothing has changed. It won't just be Britain's speedway tracks that will be glimpsing the former Speed King either, as he plans to call in on a number of major events along the way, including Formula One's British Grand Prix. All he needs to prove now is that he's ready for the challenge. Yes, he's definitely ready. Um, he's so motivated, it's incredible. He's an inspiration to everyone from his motivation of how he wants to do this challenge. In fact, ever since I've known him, everything he does is motivated. And it's now up to us now to support him, um, be motivated ourselves to help the charity and support him in any way we can.